Life is full of unexpected surprises, and being financially prepared for them is essential. In this video, we'll explore the ins and outs of emergency funds, why they matter, how to build one, and how much you should save. With practical advice and actionable steps, you'll be well on your way to building a safety net that will help you avoid debt, reduce financial stress, and maintain stability. Plus, we've got some tips for growing your emergency fund even faster. Don't miss out. Subscribe to our channel for more financial wisdom and leave your emergency fund tips in the comments below. Let's get started. What is an emergency fund and why do you need one? An emergency fund is a designated amount of money set aside to cover unforeseen expenses that may arise, such as unexpected medical bills, car repairs, or job loss. It serves as a safety net to help you avoid resorting to high-interest credit cards, borrowing from friends or family, or dipping into long-term savings or investments. Having an emergency fund is crucial for several reasons. 1. Avoiding debt. Without an emergency fund, you may be forced to rely on credit cards or loans to cover unexpected expenses, which can lead to high interest debt that is difficult to pay off. 2. Reducing financial stress. Life's unexpected events can be emotionally draining, and the last thing you need is to worry about how you'll pay for them. An emergency fund gives you peace of mind by providing a financial cushion during tough times. 3. Maintaining financial stability. When you have an emergency fund, you can cover unexpected expenses without disrupting your long-term savings or investment goals. This helps to maintain financial stability and ensures that you're prepared for any financial challenge that may come your way. For example, John was able to cover his unexpected car repair costs using his emergency fund, which prevented him from taking on credit card debt and allowed him to continue working towards his long-term financial goals. It's important to note that the exact amount you should save for an emergency fund varies based on your individual circumstances. As a general rule of thumb, financial experts recommend having at least three to six months worth of living expenses saved in your emergency fund. However, this amount may differ depending on factors such as job stability, family size, and health status. In conclusion, having an emergency fund is a critical component of a healthy financial plan. It provides a safety net to help you navigate life's unexpected events and maintain financial stability. By building an emergency fund, you'll have peace of mind knowing that you're prepared for whatever challenges come your way. How much should you save? Determining how much to save in your emergency fund is a crucial step in building a solid financial plan. As mentioned earlier, the general rule of thumb is to save at least three to six months worth of living expenses. However, the exact amount you need depends on several factors, including 1. Your job stability. If you have a stable job with a steady income, you may not need as much in your emergency fund compared to someone who is self-employed or works in a less stable industry. 2. Your family size. If you have dependents or a larger family, you may need a larger emergency fund to cover unexpected expenses that may arise. 3. Your health status. If you have a chronic health condition or are more susceptible to medical emergencies, you may need a larger emergency fund to cover potential medical bills. 4. Your monthly expenses. Your monthly expenses, including rent, mortgage, utilities, food, and other bills, will determine how much you need to save in your emergency fund to cover these expenses in case of job loss or other unexpected events. To determine your specific emergency fund needs, start by calculating your monthly expenses and multiply that amount by 3 to 6 months. This will give you a rough estimate of the amount you should aim to save. However, it's essential to note that this is just a starting point, and you may need to save more or less based on your individual circumstances. Remember, it's better to start with a smaller emergency fund and gradually build it up than to have no emergency fund at all. The key is to set a savings goal, open a separate savings account, automate your savings, and monitor and adjust your progress regularly. With a solid emergency fund in place, you'll be better prepared to handle any unexpected events that come your way without derailing your financial goals. If you're enjoying this video and want to help our small YouTube channel keep growing and producing more content, please don't forget to click the like button, subscribe to our channel, it's completely free, and turn on the notification bell so you won't miss any of our upcoming videos. Building your emergency fund, step by step. Now that you know why an emergency fund is essential and how much you should aim to save, it's time to start building your emergency fund. 
Here are some steps you can take to start building your emergency fund. 1. Set a savings goal. Determine the amount you want to save for your emergency fund, based on your monthly expenses and individual circumstances. As a general rule of thumb, aim to save at least 3 to 6 months worth of living expenses. 2. Open a separate savings account. It's essential to keep your emergency fund separate from your regular savings or checking account to avoid the temptation of using it for non-emergencies. Consider opening a high-yield savings account or a money market account, which typically offer higher interest rates and help your money grow over time. 3. Automate your savings. One of the most effective ways to build your emergency fund is to set up automatic transfers from your paycheck or checking account to your emergency fund. Even small amounts can add up over time, so aim to automate your savings as much as possible. 4. Cut expenses and increase income. Look for ways to reduce your spending or increase your income to free up more money for your emergency fund. This could include cutting back on unnecessary expenses like eating out or subscription services, negotiating bills, or picking up a side hustle. 5. Monitor and adjust. Regularly review your progress and adjust your savings plan as needed. 5. If you reach your goal, consider increasing it to provide an even greater safety net. Similarly, if you experience unexpected expenses that deplete your emergency fund, make sure to replenish it as soon as possible. 6. Reassess and adjust fund size. As life circumstances change, such as getting married, having children, or experiencing a job change, reassess your emergency fund needs and adjust the size of your fund accordingly. Building an emergency fund takes time and effort, but it's an essential part of a healthy financial plan. By following these steps and staying committed to your savings goal, you'll have a safety net to help you navigate life's unexpected events and maintain financial stability. Tips for growing your emergency fund faster. If you're looking to build your emergency fund faster, here are some tips to help you increase your savings. 1. Save your windfalls. Whenever you receive unexpected money, such as a tax refund, bonus, or cash gift, put it directly into your emergency fund. This is a great way to quickly boost your savings without affecting your regular income. 2. Save your change. Collect your spare change and deposit it into your emergency fund regularly. Many banks offer automatic savings programs that round up your purchases to the nearest dollar and transfer the difference to your savings account. 3. Cut back on discretionary spending. Reducing spending on non-essential items like dining out, entertainment, and shopping can free up additional money to contribute to your emergency fund. 4. Take on a side hustle. Earning extra income through a side job or freelance work can help you grow your emergency fund more quickly. Be sure to allocate any additional earnings directly to your emergency fund. 5. Review and adjust your budget. Regularly review your budget to identify areas where you can cut back on expenses or increase your income, allowing you to save more towards your emergency fund. 6. Set milestones and rewards. Set small milestones along the way, and reward yourself when you reach them. This can help keep you motivated and focused on your savings goal. Remember, building an emergency fund takes time and effort, but it's worth it for the peace of mind and financial stability it provides. By following these tips and staying committed to your savings goal, you'll be well on your way to building a solid emergency fund that can help you navigate life's unexpected events. In conclusion, an emergency fund is a critical component of a healthy financial plan. It provides a safety net to help you navigate life's unexpected events and maintain financial stability. By following the steps and tips outlined in this video, you'll be well on your way to building a solid emergency fund that will give you peace of mind and financial security. Remember to subscribe to our channel for more financial wisdom, and don't forget to share your emergency fund tips and experiences in the comments below. Thank you for watching, and happy saving!